Hi Libra, how you doing? Let's see what messages we have for you today. Death card. Ouch. No, it's changes. There's changes to your situation. Nine of Wands. Been struggling this with this for a while. You're tired. Tower moment. Hmm. Brook changes. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is. This is an offer, an apology. It's messages, usually good news. You have the Hierophant, the Hangman, you're considering something. Let's have a look. Three of Wands, Magician, Sun card, lovely. The Moon card. Yeah, I'm getting some something's going to happen fairly abruptly. Revelation, you're going to hear about something through the grapevine, or this person's going to message you you're dealing with, and it's going to bring in some quite quick changes to your world, and. In the process, it's going to give you, I feel, pretty soon you're going to get a different perspective on what it is you want and where you go and what it is you need to let go of to allow these changes to come in. Now, with, with changes, you always get challenges. But you're very strong. You've been through a pretty rocky time as it is. This person has been in and out of your life, I feel, for a while. But, you know, there's a different perspective on a long-term connection here. There's some good news here. I mean, these changes and this revelation, this news, however it comes into your life, will come in abruptly, but it has the potential to give you long-term success. But I do get here somebody wants a chance with you, you know, with this page of pentacles. You know, the person you're dealing with, I feel, has also been thinking about this long time. But behind the scenes, they're ready to act. They've gone through a life learning lesson here and they're ready to act. And they want to, I feel, commit to you in some way. For some of you, it's, it is, you know, they do call the Hierophant the marriage card, but it's it's as the chance to go the distance if you want it and it's looking good here you know the sun card here is renewal healing of wounds healing changes new growth all that all the good things in life i think whichever way you slice this cake you are going to get some good changes you got the moon card here, but that's all about facing fears, seeing things in the, the fog is clearing. Slowly but surely, you know, the sun and the moon, you're I'm getting enlightenment here. Yeah, there's big changes here coming into a connection. For some of you, endings. 
and rather abrupt endings. But you've got the Two of Cups here. And the Death card, with every ending, there's a new beginning. But with this, I'm getting changes to an existing connection. Yeah, Knight of Swords. This is all about one more try, commitment. Sorry if you can't see the cards very well. They are kind of dark. But that is the Knight of Swords. You see how he's holding this sword up. And he's ready to go. He's ready to commit. He's ready to face the challenges. I say he, but it's it's a per, any person with that kind of fearless attitude, you know. Okay, let's do this. Let's face the challenges. Let's sort it out and let's go for it. It's that kind of, you know, energy. It is... I feel you're going to receive a message out the blue. It's going to come totally out of the blue. And it will be a substantial thing. It has the possibility to grow. For a start, it may seem like, oh, let's go have dinner together. Let's go have a drink together. But, you know, each journey starts with a new step. But, you know, I'm getting growth here. I'm getting the potential to grow and grow and become very strong. Yeah, yeah. Ba basically playing your cards right will bring you in happiness, emotional fulfilment. And as I say, the potential to grow, the relationship intensifying. You know, you've got the two people in this card, the cat playing in the garden, the cups, the bees, milk and honey I'm getting with this. That's the that's the potential energy it has to grow. And you've got the Empress here, you see. Beginnings of new love. Somebody wants to take care of you, they want you know, equal give and take. They want things to, to grow. It's, it's good. And no doubt you want, probably want things to develop with this. Uh, I feel in the near future, you, you know, you'll decide on what you want and the chariot off you'll climb in that little chariot and you'll go you're in control you can control the pace you know leaving anything that you want behind this is all about your future Uh, things turning in your favour. There's that wheel of fortune. There's some very powerful energies here. Things turning around and you embarking on new adventures. Wheel of fortune, though, is all about timing. You know, it might come as a bit of a surprise to you, but the person you're dealing with sees the, the timing as right. I get the feeling that they're sensing if they don't act now, the opportunity will pass them by. Hmm. Yeah, I feel the person is thinking about the past. Six of Cups, Two of Swords. They're making a decision, and I feel they, they want to reconciliate with you. This nine of wands, they, as I say, they've been in your life for a while. I am getting they want reconciliation. And this time they want to do it very, very differently. Yeah, King of Pentacles here, you see. 
This is all about reaching the goal, stability, security. This could be the person you're dealing with. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But the, yeah, they want, they want to look after you. End of. They think you're the bee's knees. This nine of pentacles. That's what they're thinking. And again, the temperance card, they want to do it right. They want to work on it, give you their all. They want balance. They think you're great. But at the same time, they're controlling their thoughts. And I think in due course you know, all will be revealed. I hope that's helped. I'm going to leave it there. Bye for now.